Rivera, Sandra Bullock, and Jessica Alba took the red carpet at the 2014 People's Choice Awards by storm. This is Clever's Trophy Life coverage where we're breaking down the stars, the statues, and right now we're breaking down the style. That is right, Deidre, and we are going to kick it off right now with the super sexy but sort of prim and proper tonight, yes. Naya Rivera. Who first things first, let's just put it out there and talk about her hair. Blonde. She's a blondie now. Yes. What do you think? I love it. It's very reminiscent of Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. I tend to think that these beauties who are known for their dark eyes and their dark eyebrows should have black hair, but then I see them with lighter hues and I think it just works perfectly. And you and me are like, hey, maybe we should try it should out, we people. Hop on that <laughs> um, but this dress is so unique. I love it. It's by Michael Kors, and I feel like you can really tell when you take a look at it yes. that it is a Michael Kors creation. The color blocking, though, I thought was a really unique choice. You got the black, the white, and the tan, um, the long sleeves, the high low with the train in the back. But I want to point out, not too dressy. No, and I feel like that was the theme with tonight. People just went with what was cute and what was mm -hmm. comfortable. This looks like a comfortable dress. She looks really, um, you know, mature and statuesque. I feel like I'm used to seeing her in crop tops and like leather and dominatrixy looking outfits. I like her in a sophisticated like ladies who lunch kind of look. Yeah, you're right. We have seen her in some super sexy looks as of late, which we know for the record, this girl can do sexy. Uh, this is yes. a little more under the radar and perfect for an outdoor event because people probably pretty cold out there. Absolutely. Just gonna throw Freezing. it out. Lots of sleeves tonight. Mm -hmm. Lots I'm of sleeves. A lot of sleeves. And then of course she finished off her look with some great Stuart Weitzman shoes, a vintage necklace, which I was loving. It's almost like a collar around her neck. And then of course that gorgeous bling that she has on her left, her ring finger. Yes, dragging her, her down because it's so big. I love it. Uh-huh. And then the smoky eye and the nude lip. Overall she was glowing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Should we talk about a little Sandra Bullock now? I love her. Yes. Sandy looked phenomenal, you guys. Tonight she was wearing a Peter Pilato dark blue and floral, kind of a frock. It was mm -hmm. asymmetrical. Very. She's ready for spring. Let's. She is. Let's be honest. I love these accents. She's got green and some darker colors. Um, she kept her face just glowing per usual. Fresh face, makeup and hair very wavy and natural. And can we talk about her figure? <sighs> Please, this can dress we? just hugged her in all the right places. I like how it's kind of accentuating her waist, which is so teeny tiny, mm -hmm. um, but she's got the curves too. I personally love this look for her, very youthful and refreshing. What do you think? I love this look too, and I think it's just the right amount of youthful. She's not trying to look like she's 12 no. years old or something <laughs> like that, but I think she just looks so fresh face all the time, which I think is so hilarious because recently at the Palm Springs uh, event that took place last weekend, she kept joking about being over 40. Well, I have to say, if this is what over 40 looks like, I'm ready for sign it. Sign me up yes. right now. She looked gorgeous and I loved the hair and makeup. Oh my God, you can just tell that she is at a great place in her life professionally and personally. Her son is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I agree. Yes. But let's move on to our last look. We have got the white hot, smoking hot Jessica. Alba. I couldn't take it. She was on fire tonight. I know that fire is red and she was mm -hmm. white hot, but my lord, two children. This is what two this children what happens, looks like. Guys. She looked incredible. Mm -hmm. And I love that she's wearing white. Winter white is such a fun idea, especially for an award show. And I thought that this Jason Wu dress with the bustier style top was the perfect choice. And it was just the right amount of sexy because you do have that zipper that went all the way down the front of the gown, which I don't know, it's a little hey. scary, unless it's a fake zipper, <laughs> but it does sort of give you that air of mystery. Yes. However, the T-length of the dress kept it really classy, and this is hard yes. to wear, by the way. I mean, she was sucked in in all the right areas. I love the fine detailing of it. It looks like, would you call that lace, or mm -hmm. I don't know what material that is, but it's just drawing her in at all the right angles, and you, you can tell she works out a lot. Good for you, Jessica Alba. Good you for you, Jessica. You look fantastic. <laughs> she finished her look off with some great and unique gold hoop earrings from Jennifer Meyer and then some super hot white pointed toe pumps, the hair, the makeup, pretty simple but still, still very sleek and sexy to go along with the entire look. I loved it. Loved it. Was it. Just perfect. Who had your favorite look? 
Deidre. Uh, you know what? Only, I'm only picking Naya Rivera because of the loop that she threw at me tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to seeing her toned abs, lots of skin, very, very va va boom, and J Lo. And tonight she was giving me lady who lunches. I'm sorry. I think she just looks fantastic, and she proved that she can cover both ends of the fashion spectrum. Mm -hmm. Who is your fave? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Jessica Alba because I think she definitely had one of the most standout looks yes. on the carpet. And again, she can do no wrong. I love the white hot thing in the winter. But we want to hear from you guys. Hit the comments section to let us know who had your favorite look from the 2014 People's Choice Awards. And if you love this video, click the link right here to vote for the hottest star at the Critics' Choice Movie Awards.